When I was a sophomore in high school, I went from a kid who could barely hit a ball 300 feet to one year later, adding 100 feet to how far I could launch balls by discovering a strategy I want to share with you in this video. A strategy I've also used on my oldest son who can absolutely launch balls out of the yards as a 16 year old sophomore, along with my daughter who's been regularly hitting home runs since the age of 12, even though she's always been the smallest or second smallest kid on the team. The strategy that I'm talking about is a strategy called muscle conversion. And here's how it works. Our bodies are made up of two different types of muscle fiber tissues to keep this kind of simple. Slow twitch and fast twitch. Slow twitch are good for things like long distance running and endurance and fast twitch are good for explosive movements. And what a lot of people don't know is that there are training strategies you can use to convert your slow twitch muscle fibers into more of those fast twitch ones where if you look at a kid and his muscle fibers before putting them on a training plan you will see muscles looking like this where there are high percentage of slow twitch muscle fibers those are the blue colored cells and then when you look at those same muscle fibers after six to twelve weeks of the type of training that i'm talking about you will see significant percentages of, of those muscles have converted from slow twitch to fast twitch where on the top graphic you can see almost half of the cells are blue and on the bottom after training only a third of the cells are blue a 20% increase in fast twitch muscle fibers. And when we do this with kids at our training facility, what we'll see is those kids will add three to five miles an hour bat speed over six to 12 weeks simply by training in a way that converts their slow twitch fibers to fast twitch ones. But then here's the deal. Each kid has a genetic limit to how many of those muscle fibers can be converted. Not everyone's the same. So after six to 12 weeks, kids typically plateau because we've converted as much as we can. But if we also put them on a weightlifting program specific for baseball or softball players, we can grow up new muscle tissues, which allows us to cycle back and then convert that new muscle tissue to, to a highest amount of fast twitch muscle fibers as well. And when you do this over and over again, that's where you really start to see exponential gains. And because I had experienced these dramatic power gains myself as a sophomore in high school, I've used the same cycle of training with my oldest son and daughter, and it's 100% the reason why they have developed the power at the plate that they now have. And I'm honestly, I'm blown away more people don't take the summer and the off-season times to develop this type of power in their kids, unless they didn't know about it. Then, of course, that's understandable. But if you are interested in learning more about our summer power development programs for local athletes looking to train at our Lacey Washington facility, message us to book a power assessment where we can bring you in and develop a summer power development program for your son or daughter.